Hello, my name is uh, Neil Walsh. I'm a professor in the school and director of the Extremes Research Group. I came to Bangor in 2000. Um, I came here because Bangor has an amazing reputation in sports science and uh, it, it's always been amongst the top schools in sports science in the UK. I have been director for undergraduate studies. I'm currently the director of the Extremes Research Group and I'm deputy head for research in the school. We are very, very interested in why athletes and soldiers seem to get more sick more often than sedentary people. We believe there's something about their training that, that seems to lower their immune system function. And we're very, very interested in, in countermeasures, in ways in which using nutrition, for example, in which we can prevent athletes getting sick with colds, flus, and so on so often. We're very, very... Um, keen here at Bangor that the, the people who do the teaching in, in our school are, are research leaders. So they're the ones actually doing the good research on the front line. And uh, we've published quite a bit of work relevant to my teaching in sports nutrition, on nutritional interventions for athletes to, to prevent them getting sick, we hope. And also we're, we're very, very interested in um, how exercising in extreme environments can alter the immune system function and uh, we've published a number of papers on that too. We've been very, very lucky to, to work on some simple methods to make measurements in the field in soldiers and athletes. So simple methods to assess the immune status, the immune function using a skin patch test, which we've developed here in Bangor with our collaborators. We're also very interested in monitoring the hydration status of an individual. So we, we were, we were um, very lucky to work on saliva markers of hydration, simple saliva tests that could be used to track hydration, and more recently using tear fluid, um, using very small devices that can collect and analyse um, saliva and tear.